totally unique product. Mm -hmm. It is valued. Uh, its value is then much higher to determine that it's, it is no longer simply worth a 500 Naira note. Mm -hmm. Now, this means a non-fungible token cannot be swapped for any equivalent value. It, is, right. it also means that, uh, like any investment, it is value that increase or can be increased or decreased in the future depending on the circumstances well said so that's the easiest way layman's way to explain you know uh this nft and uh, non-tangible non-fungible fungible. <laughs> and uh, fungible so but our interest is not all about all of that jargons right our interest right here on the show today is particularly how this new digital means of selling art affects creators and the creative industry so if you're a creative who is digitally savvy now it's time to like you know bring your ear close to the radio <laughs> like turn up the volume loud and clear so that uh, you don't miss out on this as we are set to bring our special guests on techie talk today who is this individual he is in his 20s guys you know how much he has achieved in his 20s some of you just you know you just, you just want to give up but hey guys that's not the point <laughs> no. it is but a number <laughs> the amazingly uh, Nigerian-born multidisciplinary artist and uh, visual. Um, I mean, he's into many things. Sometimes you just <laughs> no, you, you wonder <laughs> which should I, which which. which. Yeah, Vis artist and visual artist also, if you like, mm. and um, he's also the man who calls his method contemporaryism. Uh, which is a fusion that primarily centers around hyperrealism mm. and uh, contemporary arts. He's a video director, I know that for sure. And uh, in 2019, this gentleman bagged the prestigious award for the prize for art at the Future Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome the one the call. Ken Wadiob. Did I get that right? <laughs> you got it perfect. Uh, 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 <laughs> I was, I was, I, I was going to say Ken <laughs> Hey, this is, this is the long form now. I still say too. <laughs> you know, we're fantastic to have you. Good to have you on the show today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, Lagos, uh, grab a seat. Grab um, uh, maybe you know um, um, a bottle of Hollandia Zero Yogurt mm -hmm. because this segment right now is sponsored by Hollandia Zero Yogurt. And we'll get into a conversation we can right now. But first, let's take a message from our sponsor as we proceed on the show. How is uh, technology aiding contemporary art? Uh, well, NFTs. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it, you see, 
is as an artist, mm-hmm. right? And I have had I have I've seen quite a lot of digital artists around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the concept that these people can these um creatives cannot act in the same world like yeah. a visual or contemporary artist. Yeah. Right? Just sometimes discourage them from even attempting mm. you know, their art form sure. or even trying to visual artists or yeah. they start to using different ways of how they can bring this into the physical world yeah. so that it becomes in your way a non-fungible token yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm. where yeah. it's only one of one it mm. can only be owned mm. and, and that one can be owned and for visual artists it's, that was that has been a problem yeah. you know for their work to act in a museum or to yeah. be in a museum in that kind of trading space mm-hmm. so most of most visual artists do not you know there is no space to sell mm-hmm. their works and if you don't sell your work as an artist <laughs> then how do you you know use keep the learning. money to keep creating yeah. more art mm-hmm. because artists it takes the mind the body it takes yeah. a lot everything, of everything. Yeah. so when you realize that you don't have a lot of money to create this art. How do you how do you function as an artist? Mm-hmm. So this digital space, right, created this this amazing platform mm-hmm. for digital artists and even anybody at all yeah. to mm-hmm. be able to practice art. This is the first time in the world wow. where no matter what you do, my brother is a medical doctor, mm-hmm. but he minted an NFT and he sold. Wow! wow. Right, so it's a platform that every digital art e- artist everybody who is creative mm-hmm. yeah. or who can think of or think of art mm-hmm. right whether in music form or in writing mm-hmm. or in the creation itself mm-hmm. these people can now be able to work and function as a very respectable contemporary artist whereby these digital form act as museums and nice. galleries and nice. there's provenance in their work wow. so it, aside from that it, you, 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 it also keeps like a record because you know that everything you do in the digital space you always mean the digital space absolutely yeah. so imagine if they start recording every of that art movement like it goes from this collector to this collector mm-hmm. you can be able to see the provenance of mm. the yeah. work right? right how it started when it started when mm. it was created mm. you see the digital space keeps record of that mm. whereas the contemporary space you have to wait for museums like the MBC Shilo Museum yeah. or big museums for mm. them to tell you the the history mm. of yeah. the artwork mm. so that alone still broadens and helps the contemporary artwork you know, work better man talk Beautiful. about te- 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 technology is next to god really yeah. 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 look at it <laughs> <laughs> so so i mean you your, your style i mean you we, 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 i always had challenge pronouncing that um Contemporary uh, realism, contemporary realism, yeah. <laughs> which is contemporary <laughs> art and uh, realism. realism. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so let's hyper realism. Let's talk about hyper realism a bit, and um, yeah. that's your My coinage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What it's about? Um, so, I I grew up learning hyper realism. I grew up seeing a lot of hyper realistic works on yeah. the internet, right? Mm-hmm. Like Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, mm-hmm. and I remember we used to share it. I used to share with my colleagues, with my friends, mm-hmm. Irene Zay and you know, a couple of my friends who were artists and we'd see like an amazing work and we'd share it around and mm-hmm. you know, it, it would inspire us to want to get to that level of realism, of mm-hmm. you know, clarity, yeah. that the idea that you can create something lifelike mm-hmm. on a canvas mm-hmm. yeah. or on mm-hmm. a piece of paper, yeah. something three-dimensional on 2D. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it baffled us as artists mm-hmm. because once we applied the, you know, the idea of light and shadows mm-hmm. everything just started coming together and it was it was amazing and mm-hmm. then we learned at the hyper realistic form mm-hmm. okay right but for me if i wanted to talk about ghosts mm-hmm. as a hyper realist i am restricted to talk about ghosts because i have to create what is real mm-hmm. if i want to talk about if i want to be abstract in my thinking and in my yeah. production i have i'm restricted in producing those things because i have to make it realistic enough yeah. that's right right so how do i come out from that hyper realism but still keep the element of hyper realism intact i was with my friend outside my house and we we're just in and we we're like talking about things and i just said yo i want to call my style contemporary realism and he was like wow like it just hit me like contemporary art hyper realism i checked the internet there were there was definitely nothing about it Mm. and there was only contemporary realism and that was a way that did not infuse hyper realism into Mm -hmm. the context Mm -hmm. so i just felt you know 
let, let me start it. Who knows? I don't know what it might be in future. I don't yeah. know who might understand what I'm trying to say and mm-hmm. maybe follow up. Yeah. And we started the thing called contemporary realism and now it's become like an art movement in some wow. way yeah. where Beautiful. different hyper-realities sort of get different el- contemporary elements. Once yeah. you add your elements into mm-hmm. your work to mm-hmm. give the work even a broader understanding and a broader message yeah. mm. then that contemporary realism is sort of like fulfilled okay that yeah. makes a lot of, <laughs> that makes wow. a lot of sense yeah. um let, let's talk about nft yeah. on its own and how that it it it's a thing that even photographers um artists and uh, yeah. um musicians can use that how does it work for them yeah so we have this beautiful platform called the blockchain yeah right and it has well, in this time, I see a lot of my friends and a lot of people actually trying to get jobs and works and mm-hmm. they've been rejected and a lot of things have been happening. Mm-hmm. And sometimes what I do is that I try to empower them and tell them, yo, there are different ways to make money. Mm. Or right. There are different ways to be comfortable. You have a creativity, you have an idea, yeah. mm-hmm. you have something inside you that you can transform and you can convert to currency. Mm-hmm. and if the moment you know that then it's better so what happens is that this blockchain they've realized that they can act as an art gallery yeah. or like an art museum mm-hmm. all they need to do is make sure that they have a system where they can determine first of all the provenance of the work mm-hmm. right which is good with digital work because no matter where the work sells to or no matter how the work moves mm-hmm. there's always a record of that movement mm-hmm. right number two is that because there is trade in the block in blockchain mm-hmm. right that means art too can act in that same format mm-hmm. right as investment mm-hmm. it means that if you buy a work for say three thousand dollars and there is a lot of purchase and things going on yeah. right and there is a lot of buzz in it and you can see the increase in mm-hmm. the financial mm-hmm. value mm-hmm. is recorded mm-hmm. you're not just it's not just from nowhere like boom yeah. how did this get mm-hmm. to this point right you have a record of everything that happens regarding that work mm-hmm. and because of that is to collectors the people who own these things it's easier to purchase them mm. let me give you an example you you play you've played candy crush yeah. yeah absolutely okay so you know that pop-up where they go buy this icon and the icon will like increase your life for like that's right. yeah yeah you see that's nft you mm-hmm. just bought that's yeah right. you paid for it it didn't give you're not holding it it's not something physical yeah. it's just for pleasure yeah. ah, i have more items that that's I right. carry. so that's basically nft so mm-hmm. a collector who buys an nft what he wants is one investment yeah, yeah. two pleasure mm-hmm. he wants that nft mm-hmm. you as a digital designer you create something amazing and somebody downloads it and everybody downloads it and you don't have record of that you, nobody owns it mm. right everybody just uses the file yeah where right? you wake up one morning somebody has it on his dp <laughs> but in this <laughs> but in this format yeah. right people who own something know that they own it yeah. so even if somebody has the media this thing you cannot use it for anything either maybe monetary base or yeah. you cannot sell it yeah. right it is mine it mm. is my own so nft has given us giving collectors a way to own certain assets and mm. old certain digital assets so all these things as a collector why right, it works as a system so as a collector you can own things whether for investment mm-hmm. whether for the like of it because you love it mm. whether because you want to support the artist too because when you buy it, the yeah. artist gets the money, money. right mm-hmm. for the artist himself everything you create has value now mm. right you can have platforms like foundation app you can have a lot of like the voice yeah right that's a very good platform you mm. can just log in register and all your works all your digital works are digital works but once you mint it mm. on that blockchain there is a metadata mm-hmm. like a like a like a series of identity yeah. barcodes that yeah. is that is attached. you know is attached mm. to that digital asset product. to yeah. that product mm. right mm. that every time is sold it is it follows those that metadata follows that product mm. Mm. so there for you as an artist you now know that your works are now more mm. exclusive mm. yeah more f- valuable mm-hmm. and you know and you can earn money now with your works wow. and wow. then as the platform which mm. is the blockchain mm-hmm. which acts as a gallery and a museum yeah is also for you know a value you know the mm. more people who sign and log into my own platform you know the, the more, more 
um, I can get because they also get their own percentage of like mm-hmm. I don't know, some some two percent, some five percent, some twenty percent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it depends on the kind of platform you enter. So you see that the whole thing was like an art system. That's you right. you you can't as a you you don't need a master or somebody who is you know somebody who, who is very tech who is, oh, is who is, yes you understand? You know, somebody who writes who analyzes. Reports, <laughs> analyze you don't need all that anymore mm. the this two space sort of like cut out all that yeah. that you personally you can mm. go on an nft as a collector and you can actually buy valuable works that in the next two years can topple up or nice. triple mm. and nice. become like an investment nice yeah. wow now, just looking at that, is presenting multiple opportunities, as it were. Now, this mo- p- period we're on, on this part of Techie Talk, yeah. is sponsored by um, Hollandia Zero Yogurt. And um, we'll, we'll get to take a message from them shortly. And when we come back, we want to hear from you. I mean, recently you had um, about six works. You know, you did six NFTs with mm. the voice. <laughs> and uh, and that, that's, that's, that's a major platform to, yeah. to say that. Uh, I want to find out how much is your singer. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't like talking about it. money. <laughs> <laughs> and just to mention that, it's, it's an average of between two uh, dollars if you like, right up to $5,000, you know. So you can imagine if you can create as many as possible and you get them sold. Mm-hmm. So you just did that. You said, ah, government has not given us work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, money. If you do know, you will stay there and be complain about the government. Yeah, there sure. are multiple opportunities. When we come back, we'll talk about the opportunities uh, presented by this new technology from our guest, Ken, right after the break. What? In as much as we're talking tech and we we advanced in our knowledge, at least we find out because of research, we are third worlders. There are a lot of people out there who, if only they knew, they would have a better life. They would have a better um, uh, 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 experience of life if they knew of this opportunity. So, I wanted to just talk a bit more about you know how young Nigerians, Nigerian creatives, can take advantage of this technology to improve their income to also you know put their arts out there to go global with their yeah. arts yeah. as it were okay so say you are who do i start with a musician yeah okay. or okay let me start with a visual art a digital artist because yeah. they are the, one of the basics mm-hmm. say you're a digital artist and you've been creating like you've been doing like a lot of client work commission works yeah. somebody wants you to design a logo you design the logo somebody mm-hmm. wants you to design something you design and you're like, man, you're tired of earning 20,000 and 30,000 now nah, every design. And you want to make some money. All you need to do is this. It's easy, it's simple, but it takes time. You have to calm down and mm. do it strategically. Mm. You have to read about it because a lot of people just think, oh, I just put your thing there and it's done. Mm. Now you have to study it because there are, there are platforms, there are communities, there are you should check some hashtags on Instagram. Yeah. Right? See how people see the conversations they're having. Check. Um, um, clubhouse yeah mm. sadly they've banned twitter but <laughs> <laughs> also check like so many other platforms mm. right where you can start that community right yeah. but as a digital artist what you do first is to know the right platform to maintain okay. right one of the things that one of the platforms i will really recommend, you know, recommend is mm-hmm. the voice okay or because other platforms are either uh some of the platforms you need an invitation only like yeah. foundation app or some mm. some other platforms just so that they can people these apps can sort of like 
fine tune who, who comes who, in. Who comes in? In no, fact, the whole the whole process you have to verify who you are before mm. you can even be able to mint so it's, wow. it's a personal thing they have mm. to be sure that mm. you are a real artist and they have to do their record and yeah, they are, yeah. right so you are a real person sorry not mm. a real artist so mm. as digital artists you go to these platforms right you create a digital work make sure it's about you make sure it talks about you know who you are or, mm. or be more emotional about the work mm. don't remember that people that are buying these works they, 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 it's because NFTs now are like Instagram. You mm. see so many works yeah. in the digital space. So it's one site that they, that you can use to capture them. And mm. once you capture them with that image or that mm. imagery of mm. what you want to create, then okay. So you create that that digital design or made up in Photoshop mm. or in your Blender or whatever platform mm. you use. You can even use your phone app mm. yeah. as far as it has quality and yeah. it's good, right? Then you. Take go to the platform register, mm-hmm. then you see a part where you you are supposed to mint the work. Yeah. That means that work now we have that method that I spoke to you about with yes. the with the, with the code, num- with code yeah. right? And you take that work, you go to the app, you register, then you send the work to the platform. Mm-hmm. That work becomes minted. Mm-hmm. Not that you should delete the media from your phone. No, mm-hmm. that media has it can still go around the same way the artwork itself that if you if you paint a piece yes. Yes. physically mm-hmm. yes. and you sell the piece you can still post the image yeah. oh yeah so yeah. not that you, you have to now delete the image from body that is the only that comes with a certificate of authenticity mm. yeah that is the only valuable, valuable mm. piece mm. that mm. exists mm. yeah if it's a five for five if it's a one of one when i mm. mean one of one or five or five like editions okay. okay if you want to sell five of just one painting yeah. you can sell one painting to five different people mm. Mm. or you can sell one painting to one person yeah. which is what as a collector, if I went to buy to buy works, I'd rather buy one painting to for one because I'm a very <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a very selfish person. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but so you mint it, you mm. post it on, you upload it on the app, on the app, and then it becomes minted, and you've minted your first piece. Mm. And you just wait for the app to do its job by looking at algorithms, trying to put mm. you in their page, on mm-hmm. their own page, or you speak to people about it, put mm. it on different websites, put it there, say you've minted your first NFTs. People mm. who are in the platform or who are not in the platform, as collectors, they go, they check, they like the work, they want to purchase the work. It's just an easy click, click, mm. click, click, nice. purchase. As the artist. You get your money straight up in your blockchain. Hey. It's that easy and it's that quick. Guys, <laughs> did you hear that? Uh-huh. So if you have a comment or a question for Ken, you can go ahead and do that. All right. Because you have a few minutes to be here mm-hmm. with him again. 0700 993 993 The female only line is 01 465 7190. I mean, just before Jasmine has a question, but before she asks that question, um, from the way you explain, it reminds me of the you know Da Vinci's um art piece, mm. where that there there are many others, but they are the authentic ones yes. where people yeah. there's, there's more value on that yeah. um art piece yeah. and it, of course, it, there are others, but there's that yeah. particular authentic original one. So yeah. that's it's the same thing that applies with yeah. this. Yeah, it's, it's ownership. is mm. is you owning the, mm. the original one, piece. The original, original work. Piece. Everything can be plagiarized. Everything can yeah. be copied. Everything yeah. can be re- re- mm. created. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But only one person always has that one the piece. Original. Mm-hmm. And it's that, that, it's that thing that makes art works hmm. sell for so much mm. and it's that same thing that makes nfts go for so much absolutely that's gonna this help piracy great. and plagiarism it's yes. gonna help a lot of yeah. stuff yes. yes the question i wanted to ask yeah. like yeah. exactly because <laughs> you know a lot of people reprint mm-hmm. yeah. that's what like a lot of artists like they yeah. have problems with, like oh i saw like this person reprint mm. my work mm-hmm. right now you can't even do that do that with yes. this yeah. Yeah. like right. no way true mm-hmm. it's not possible yeah. in, in, a, in a regular art in in an, an art museum and they want to check the quality or the authenticity of the work they, mm. they check the painting pattern of the artist mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they check the 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 the, the, the the age of the paint to mm. know how long the paint so there's a lot of process yes. to hmm. check whether that artwork is original you know. hmm. right and i've been involved in an art auction before you know there, there is a whole lot of process yeah. but when you think of nfts it's like all the details are already there. Mm. There's no, no, there's no, no. shakba shakba. No. <laughs> Everything they there, like so if, if it's same fake, they just say, you yeah, know, yeah, you said you know. Once you Google the artist name or Google, you you get the the, the NFT. The platform itself will not allow any fake person to jump into the platform. They nice. they stay getting security protocols on that because nice. we saw that 
previously when they started. So yeah. Now there's a lot of protocols to okay. chase out people. Beautiful. Zero seven hundred nine nine three nine nine three nine nine three. If you have questions, the female only line is zero one four six five seven one nine zero. You want to drop a WhatsApp message? You can do that. Also, the phone line is buzzing. On zero eight zero nine five nine seven five eight zero five. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, detectives. Good morning. Hi. Welcome. Yeah, I'm really enjoying your program. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, to the young gentleman over there, I greet you. God uh, bless, man. Good morning. Yes. Um, I've always um, seen myself as an artist, you know, yeah. right from um, when I was a little boy. So, basically, I've been in other industries, but not as an artist. Yeah. But just of recent, I started. I decided to just go into it, just for my personal gain. Mm. And I have this beautiful piece in my house. I created it myself. Okay. With like three of them, okay? So beautiful, but I just sit and look at them and say, ha, I can make money with this, you know, they are just lying down here. Hmm. So I just wake up one morning and then I just get creative. I start making things from pieces of paper, from clothes, some hmm. materials and all that. So hearing this now, make me believe that I could um, make money from it. Go digital. Make money from these things and then. Okay. Yeah. I just want to know the process, what is, what, what, what is going to take like, because these are my original pieces and they are just sitting at home looking at me. All right. Okay. That's like conversion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of people, um, for me, I see the NFT as a canvas. I see mm -hmm. digital workers as a contemporary artist, mm -hmm. right? Once I enter into the digital space, for me, it's like a different medium to create mm -hmm. A different kind of work mm. right whether i use elements of my physical work but change it or create something moving or mm -hmm. something quite visually appealing yeah. but for some artists that i have heard of and have i have read about and some of them are my friends also mm -hmm. they actually for their original paintings they take a picture of the original paintings and they sell as the picture as nft but with a clause that when you buy the nft you mm. get the original painting Hmm. so in a way it's a way to sell the original painting, painting. Okay. through the nft platform oh okay. yeah okay. so wow. you own both the blockchain uh, um the nft itself and the blockchain and a physical piece, piece. that you can look at uh -huh. wow but for me as a contemporary artist um because yeah. i don't want to um affect the price or the or the sale of my original pieces yeah i like to see the digital space as a, another uh, platform mm. that Separate, i can yeah. create a different, different kind yeah. of work yeah and that i can send in a different mm. space and in a different um, okay. so, so if i was going to take advice yeah. directly from ken apart from you finding a way to sell those pieces you have go yeah. digital yeah. find a way of going digital and uh, improve your skills along those lines all right um one more call man the phone lines are buzzing <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's morning. your name? My name is Comfort. Welcome, Comfort. Yeah. Um, so, uh, thank you very much for this um, informative piece. Mm -hmm. And I was going to ask, you know, when you talk about the creative industry, it encompasses like many sectors. And for me, I'm an architect, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I want to think I'm part of the creative industry. So sure. I was wondering how architects could... Because we are also digital in our work. Yes, yes. How absolutely. How we into this. And I also wanted to ask, um, I see how it applies to fine artists, visual artists. Mm -hmm. What if I'm a collector of work? Hmm. And I want to trade my collections as NFTs, mm. if that would work for me and how it would work, really. Okay. All right. Very beautiful Keep question. listening. Beautiful question. Very beautiful question. How do you text that we <laughs> yeah. right now? They should be they making don't... a lot of money they, from this. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm 100% sure that architects sell their works in NFTs. 100% sure. Mm. Yeah. Because what do you think? Like, I designed a very beautiful building and I buy the building, it's mine. You can't basically go and design the same building yeah, elsewhere. Yeah. So for me, I can use that design mm. later. Yeah. Mm. You know, I don't need to reach the architect to get yeah. the design again because yeah. I already bought the design from mm. you. That's right. So I, I'm 100% sure because it, it sounds very yeah, logical. Absolutely. <laughs> and then secondly, as she asked, as a collector, mm -hmm. definitely. So before you can buy any piece in any platform, you have to register. Mm-hmm as a collector mm. so you have to put in you have they have to be they have to be verified yeah in that platform and we are verified in that platform you have a slot where you can post works that you have mm -hmm. that people can buy so you are almost like 
in a way as an artist yeah. just taking from your collection if if i want you have a profile mm-hmm. and you buy any work right in mm-hmm. that blockchain mm-hmm. it automatically goes to your profile so automatically mm. you can go to your own profile and mm. check that work that you bought in that blockchain and mm. resell it wow. and wow. then it takes goes back into because it's a blockchain it's like a yeah. museum yeah. Mm-hmm. you can't leave that space the wow. nft has to remain in that in space, that space. For it to keep growing know, growing yeah wow nice. so uh lady just go do more research about N- nft and how it affects architects i'm sure there are groups like you heard from ken on um all the platforms digital platforms like um you mentioned clubhouse you can go there search hashtags that have to do with what you do i'm sure you get that one last call and then we'll get get to let ken go <laughs> hello hello good afternoon good morning yeah, good morning, uh, Collins, um, Andrea, and uh, the guests. This Ken. is Igwe Victor. Ken. Yeah, okay. Igwe Victor, Hello. welcome. Yeah. I really want to understand about the NFT. Is it like a website or is it like um, a software or an application? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Keep, keep listening. <laughs> so, NFT is anything at all that can live in the digital space i'm talking music writing art it has no tangible form Mm -hmm. it can form into anything yeah Yeah. you can have a gif you can have a meme i remember this guy kenny shakta Mm -hmm. this year showed sold a meme for over two hundred fifty thousand dollars. yeah that's right yeah so whatever it is as far as it can exist in the digital space and you can see it in your phone or on your laptop Mm -hmm. that can become an nft all you need to do is just take that and mm-hmm. upload that into a blockchain platform like yeah. foundation app like open c like so c like mm. f- the voice which is i highly recommend so yeah. what you can do is take that item and upload in these platforms oh, yeah. and these platforms once you've uploaded this item this digital item in this platform the item automatic the am um, platform automatically transforms the item to an nft mm. so that digital item before you upload it to the platform is a digital art piece mm. once you put it to the art in the platform it becomes an nft Mm. and that nft can only be sold inside that platform and it can have a lot of value valued um it can have a lot of value, value. Mm. a lot of um, noise it can make a lot of noise at the same time it's, it's your own it's, it has ownership in it wow. right. so ken i mean before we let you go what are you working on right now and um uh, what should we look out for i mean you're a man of many parts so many parts so many things <laughs> ongoing sometimes i'll just go ken, ken what's up where, where are you i have to say where are you because <laughs> I, I don't know whether you're in australia or in the uk or wherever i mean but so what are you working on right now and how can they reach you on socials yeah um, i'm currently just in nigeria creating my largest body of work okay hopefully yes yeah you, I hope it will go beautifully, but I already enjoy, you know, creating what I'm creating. Yeah, but I'm basically working with um, some of my galleries, people I I connect with Mm -hmm. during my journey. Mm -hmm. And we're working on different items and different concepts and Mm -hmm. different, just different experiences that you can experience with art. And that's all what I stand for. I love the experience art gives you, whether Mm -hmm. in an NFT form or in a physical form or in an installation form mm-hmm. i just want you to have the experience and that's what you know my head is in right now great yeah. thank you for honoring thank you this so much. <laughs> uh, invitation also I mean, anyway. where can people reach out to you uh social media how can they see your pieces yes your... instagram uh ke at k-e-n-n-w-a-d-i-o-g-b-u ken wadiobu or you can reach out to me anywhere, Facebook, uh, or my website, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. www.kenwadib.com, mm-hmm. and maybe send a message and they contact us, and yeah. I will All respond right. to you. All right, thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you for being an inspiration to many young people out there. And um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, we're proud <laughs> <laughs> to have you in our corner. All you right. Know? right. <laughs> Absolutely, indeed. So, guys, that's, that's it. But this last segment of the show right now is sponsored by Land Lotto. We'll take a message from Land Lotto and another message from Land Lotto. We'll get to talk to one of the happy winners of Land Lotto, um, you know, uh, prizes. Don't forget to say one person is going to win a plot of land by the end of this month. It we'll could get... be you. It could be me. It could, <laughs> it could, it could be, be someone <laughs> by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. <Not even> <laughs> we'll be right back shortly. You don't hear about landlord.